Aries, Sun's plan for you is intro. So look, you might be in a position or situation you, you might be trying to figure out, trying to find a way how to introduce yourself to something new or something old, or somebody outside of you trying to figure out how to introduce themselves to you, Aries. Now, you you an experience, or you a space somebody never really been in before. You, your energy, and nobody ain't really, part, somebody ain't participate in an energy like that before, but yet they still want to participate in an energy like that. So now they trying to figure out how they could introduce yourself, how they could introduce themselves to you, or are you trying to figure out how you could introduce yourself to somewhere or someone? You want to involve yourself in a certain type of energy, in the energy, energy. Now you develop, you trying to develop the mind and to do so. You know, you making sure your feelings and how you thinking and how you expressing it all line up when you start expressing yourself in this environment. But that's your karma to be able to put yourself in a new space. Is, a, is your karma in a situation. You might have been through some rough patches in your life, rough relationships, rough friendships, or you was just going through rough cycles and you were still trying to find yourself, so to speak. But now, now it's your karma to be in a position to be thinking of higher mentalities because it was the three of coins upright. High, it's like different ways of expressing your truth in a situation. And look, Chariot, you may, it's, it's out of your hands, honestly. You may think this is your doing, it ain't your doing. This is from forces outside of you, Aries, but you're moving quickly in a new direction. Intro, it's the first step to a whole, it's the first book in a whole new chapter or a whole new series. Now, what 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 is that series that depends on uh, Aries, from Aries to Aries? I was going to say Cancer because it's Cancer's card. But you may be dealing with a Cancer you don't have to be. And Cancer was in your last one twice, so put your foot in the shoe that fits you. But it's like you're entering, you're quickly entering a new arena of your life, a new chapter, so to speak. You're being ushered, so to speak, by your mind or just your emotions. It's like you, you have no say in how you feel about something and you're just going, you're just doing what it is you feel. Big subwoofer, yeah, it's hitting heavy, it's hitting hard. You, it, it wouldn't stop hitting you until you did something, until you put yourself in a certain type of place. Because where you were, it wasn't for you. But yet, you didn't want to give it up, or somebody outside of you didn't want to give you up. Look, it was unbalanced until you became aware of your emotions and took the first step to freedom. And now you're going full speed ahead towards that motherfucker. You feel me? Somebody might be a little caught up because of this. A little stuck because of this. Because you were home for somebody there, uh, Aries. But it was a one-sided love. It was a one-sided home. You were you were more so the Alfred and somebody. Yeah, you ain't confused emotionally no more. Now that you know how you feel. Look, where'd, where'd the Queen of Cups go? I put it back, ain't I? Yeah, I, all these moms, yeah, whatever. That was the one I put back. But look, you honor your emotions now. Now that you know your truth, you know something's unfair. You know something was never going to be balanced. You got justice in reverse, two of coins in reverse. And you know somebody who was holding on to you or this is your feminine energy. You had some toxic habits, hobbies, and routines back in the day. Or you was just kicking it with some toxic folks. Might have been your mama. Could have been your father. Could have been a homie, home slice. Could have been old girl, old boy, whoever you was kicking it with. You feel it. Someone was toxic in your space and you, you're aware of that. Now you're making the proper judgments and calls for you. Pisces you have, feminine. You might, you might be dealing with a Pisces. Don't have to be. Or a Capricorn or Aquarius. Or Taurus. Or Libra. Yeah, look. <laughs> Ace of Cups. You're honoring your emotions. That was the second card in your last one. And it was in reverse. Now it's the third one in this one. If it's you versus someone outside of you, someone outside of you might have expressed emotions to you in order, and that, that emo, the feelings someone brought out of you brought you emotional clarity about what you were stuck in, what you were stuck about, what you couldn't, you feel me? And now you're, look, taking the action. Now you working. Now that you know where you need to go, regardless, now that you know where you need to take your emotions, you going there. You ain't wasting no time to get there neither. 
You know what that means for you. Yeah, back in the day, you might have not been honest with regards to how you expressed yourself. You might not have been just being real with yourself or just being real with your external world. But now that you got a better, you in a better, different place now. You feel me? Now that you got this experience, now that you got this knowledge, this knowing, this wisdom about a certain arena in your life, now you you tackling or you're revisiting that arena in your life in the way you need to in order for you to pull yourself out your head. Get yourself out of a rut, so to speak, now that you know. And again, it's, it's either be, if it's you versus someone outside of you, it's because someone outside of you gave you or brought to you a piece of their mind. It was like someone may have been more experienced in this position at work. It was your first time, because the last time I was playing for you was intro. It was your first time being in this certain position and somebody who who been hip to this came to you and brought you a mentality. They might not even, may, may not have even assisted you directly. They just came to you and was talking to you while you while you was working in that department. Mind you, they was a vet, you was a noob. And they said something that brought you clarity and put you in a position to know what you need to do here now. You feel me? Remember the time. Shit, somebody might, if, if it's you versus someone outside of you, now that you're in the space of annoying, someone outside of you could want to be what they should have been for, with you. You feel me? Because you may have been in a position to glow up or have to level up or have to boss up in some way, shape, or form because, again, you were in a one-sided situation, whether that was a one-sided friendship or a one-sided relationship. And now that you, it's like you grew out of that, you, someone outside of you sees you now for who you are and they want to invest in the space with you. Now someone want to work on, work on something with you. And they're going to bring themselves to you the way they should have brought themselves to you the first time y'all met. That type shit. Yeah, look, because you bound. You out here doing it. You got the chariot and the six of coin. Yeah, you balance. That's your karma. And it's someone outside of you karma to see you for who you are now. And they should they could have saw you for who you were back in the day, but it's like for some reason they was just being toxic in your space. They was fucking with you. Yeah, manipulating you using any means necessary, whether it was children internally or if y'all have kids externally, they was using kids externally to manipulate you. And it was working for a, a X amount of time up until it stopped working. Oh yeah, now somebody wanna come to you right. Yeah, cause look, shit is sweet with you. Life is good when I'm with Aries. Life is good. Yeah, now you sent someone in a hermit mode or you went in hermit mode and you realize you the one that makes shit happen here. So you ain't gonna let nobody confuse you, nobody keep you stuck like you were stuck, can't nobody lie to you about what you need to work on now, can't nobody be toxic with you and play you no more. Cause you, you, you hip now, you up, you aware. You got some light in your space, light in your face. Now that you can see where you at, now you moving accordingly. Again, in the past, you might, you weren't happy where you were, and it took you not being happy to find realize where your happiness lies within self, not externally. Now that you found that, this little light of mine, oh yeah, you letting that motherfucker shine. And somebody who was fucking with you previously may want to come slide on you because you letting that little motherfucker shine. And it's like they had that. But the way they was treating you, they was throwing dirt on you instead of buffing you, you feel me? And put your foot. 